Hey everyone, it's Hans, and welcome back. As you know, a few videos back in the Pokemon playlist, I mentioned how I've gotten back into the Pokemon trading card game. How I once had a really cool collection, unfortunately lost it all, and through the course of 2019 have regained my love for the franchise. So with that in mind, I decided to review two of the main products that I've been using. Namely, the Ultra Pro 360 card binders. And what's really cool about these Ultra Pro binders is that they come in a variety of patterns and designs specifically for people who enjoy Pokemon. And the two in particular that I personally enjoyed are the Pokeball variant as well as the limited edition Pikachu variant. Both of which, in my personal opinion, are really, really beautiful. And I'm going to be speaking more about them today, including the pros and cons of buying a set binder like this versus the kind of binder where you can have individual card sleeves. For those of you who have watched some of my other videos, you'll know that I have a tendency towards ultra pro products. And this is because they have been in the trading card game industry for a very, very long time. And they also appear to know what collectors of cards actually want from products. Namely, that they need to be of a very high standard and quality, as well as be made from materials that will actually preserve the card's integrity versus breaking them down. Which is why all Ultra Pro products are acid free and made from archival safe polypropylene. In addition to that, all of Ultra Pro's binders or even the individual sheets, if that's your preference, can all take cards that are also enclosed within deck protectors, therefore ensuring that whatever cards you install in these binders are kept in the most pristine of ways. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the two that I have today. So the first one we're going to look at is the Pokeball inspired one. Now I also understand that Ultra Pro make different Pokeballs, as in you can get a Great Ball or a Master Ball. For myself, I just went with a traditional Pokeball, which has this wonderful red, white and black motif in what looks like a faux leather material. So it's great because you know that no animals were harmed in the making of this product, which is really awesome for from a Pokemon perspective. And what's great about it is it actually has a wonderful thread that goes around the entire binder as well as through the actual Pokeball motif on the front which extends from the front of the binder through to the back of it. This binder also has a fantastic elastic mechanism which you use to either keep the binder closed or to open it. And then on the inside of each of these binders are 20 pages that can hold nine cards each on each side. So it's effectively 18 cards on each page, therefore resulting in 360 cards per binder. The Pikachu limited edition one is basically identical in terms of form and function, with the exception of having the most beautiful Pikachu emblazoned on the front of the binder. The back is clear, but it still has that fantastic faux leather feel. In terms of the pages in the binders, they're all black and they take cards from the side versus from the top, which is how uh, these things used to be in the past. The change is a subtle one, but it works quite well and it also ensures that should the binder be shaken around for whatever reason, the cards are not going to fling out of the binders or even if the binder has to fall over onto its top, the cards aren't going to slip out. Overall, these binders are actually fantastic. They, they look good, they feel good, you know they're going to protect the cards, they've been innovatively designed. Unfortunately, there is a downside, and that is that each binder can only take 360 cards as a maximum. Now, normally this wouldn't be an issue, but a lot of the more recent Pokemon trading card game sets have been increasing in size to the point where some sets are 280 cards. That effectively means that you'd need to buy one binder for each set, and Given that each of these binders retails for about $25, the cost of entry isn't that high, but it could be 
in the long run, if you do actually collect the trading cards versus just playing with them, in which case it's probably cheaper just to get a normal binder and fill it with a lot of single sleeves. With that said, these binders are just really great and I currently enjoy having one single binder for one single collection. It just fits better in my lifestyle and allows me to ensure that my collections are organized. I currently don't have many cards but I am collecting the Hidden Minds and Cosmic Eclipse sets as well as a few others that I'm sort of looking into at the moment that are a little bit older. However at the moment I'm using the traditional Pokeball binders for the actual sets and the Pikachu binder for rare cards that are doubles. This way I can keep track of cards that I could potentially sell or trade with people which are rarer than most of the others. That's currently what I'm doing at the moment. So the other great thing about these Ultra Pro Pro binders is they come in a variety of styles and designs. For myself, I just wanted the traditional Pokeball and the Pikachu because obviously these are for my Pokemon collections. However, they do have non-specifically designed ones that are maybe just grey, also made out of the same pleather. So if you'd like more of a subtle look, you can go for that. I for one really enjoy these binders from Ultra Pro. I think they're made of an exceptionally high quality. I know that my cards are going to be safe in them. And most importantly, they look really, really good. And they're not that expensive which is definitely a positive. I do highly recommend checking out the Ultra Pro website and seeing what is available. And if you want to buy one of these things, head on to Amazon because that's where I bought mine from and I will leave a link below. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Ciao for now.